Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. So, before we left on our vacation, I ordered a couple of aeration units for the crayfish. Now sadly, one of the uh, pregnant females died because I had, a, I had the aeration stuck through the top of the, uh, basically the jar that it was in and left instructions for Gingging to feed them every day and somehow when the, she took the lid off Daddy, it uh, you, were, you were saying that because Bouncer is always jumping there you know Bouncer is hiding from the door yeah. oh, maybe oh, she said it was Bouncer yeah. yeah, I doubt it I think she lifted the cap off and the aerator came loose from the hose and so, uh, in such a, I don't know, confined space, aeration is a must. So, she probably lasted 48 hours and then just basically suffocated. I'm sad. But, um, these aerators should help. Now, the one female... The first female that had eggs, um, I don't know if her eggs hatched and she ate them or what happened. But I, when I, I, and that was before we left, I checked her. Uh, she had no more eggs under her tail and there were no baby crayfish swimming around in the tank. So uh, I don't know what happened there. Um, Maybe Marcel it. I don't think Marcel would eat. He'd be eating them with tweezers. Um, I don't think it's an aeration problem because uh, she was in an aquarium that has never had an aeration problem. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. So I ordered three of these units. It was five hundred and six hundred. It was six hundred all together. Including the shipping included. Shipping. So this is an incredibly good deal. Just a little over 200 pesos each, and I I wanted to. I was really curious to get into these to see if they were the same size as the ones I ordered before. I did order some of these before, and for various reasons they didn't last. They got uh, stuff caught in them. Yeah, they are. They're exactly the same as the ones I had before. The same size anyway. These are 15 watt, I think. It'll probably stay on the box somewhere. If I can make it around all the Chinese writing. 10 watt. Um, so I can unplug the 55 watt aeration thing that I've, the aeration pump that I've got going. And well, I could run five of these for the same amount of power. So I did this uh, both as an ener energy saving thing and to filter the water because I was thinking, well, you know, maybe because the water is not crystal clear, uh, there is some algae in it and this will filter it out. So, um, you know, I'm not sure one way or the other what the problem is uh, with that first female, but uh, it hurt my feelings enough to where I want to uh, take whatever steps that I can to uh, alleviate the problem. Now, that's what I forgot today. I was going to get some of those little green scrubbing pads uh, that you scrub dishes with. I don't know what they're made out of. They're just, you know, they're like this thick. Sometimes they've got a, sponge, a yellow sponge on the other side and they're like this thick. But, uh, we were at the store today and they're, they're not expensive. I was going like to get some. This? Yeah, like that. Like Just this? like that. Like these, like that. Yeah. It's cheap only. Just to lay on the bottom as a as a uh, sediment catcher. Yeah, it's that's cheap. But we'll be back into town again someday and I can get them. So these work really well and uh, they worked really well before. The only problem I had 
was uh, in getting uh, uh, both getting plugged up with stuff that's in the tank and um, at that time we were uh, hatching uh, tilapia and uh, the little fry this is the this is the filter that comes with it the little fry can get through that and they were getting a few of them got sucked up and uh, spit out and uh, we can't have that so what I'm going to do and I'm not, I'm not going to uh, do that part of this video tonight is I'm going to make some kind of a screen around this uh, if I had the proper stuff to make one, I'd just make like a little globe uh, with window screen, you know, something that like, you know, it'd look kind of like a, a window screen light bulb sticking off the end of this, uh, just for more area and a finer mesh, uh, a bigger area so it doesn't cut down on the flow, the water flow. Um, I have some screen around. Uh, maybe I'll just make one out of tie wire and uh, and get it fixed and get it going. All, all the parts are here. Happy about that. It's all complete. This one anyway. And I only, I only need one because I've only got one pregnant female right now. So uh, I'll get this hooked up tomorrow and uh, finish up this video. A little bit bent. <coughs> Key guys up there. I think that's that cat's name. Uh, catching something. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So I'll get this fitted tomorrow, and uh, we'll do uh, before and after on the on the clearness of the water. So we can have a, a, a clear picture of uh, what these little aeration units do. I was fascinated that they would work so well and be so inexpensive. You know, you, at Walmart in the States, even 10 or 15 years ago, something like this was $20, $25. Um, here with shipping to your door, and they're the same thing. It's just the writing on the outside on the ones uh, at Walmart is in English and not in Chinese. They're, they're the same units, basically. Um, delivered to your door for uh, four U.S. dollars. It's pretty, pretty amazing, if you ask me. This is a little, uh, this is the air inlet here. Uh, it, it, it's, an, it's a combination circulation, uh, aeration, and filtration. So the air comes out of here. Uh, this is the box that the, the water goes into, and it settles and uh, clears everything up. So, and they work amazingly well for what they are. I mean, it's just, I was blown away how well they work. So, uh, in the interest of uh, uh, really going to town on these crayfish, uh, I'm going to get it fired up. I forgot to put the little, this little thing on the bottom here helps hold the, the uh, catchment tray in place. And without this little thing on the bottom, the water doesn't seem to want to come out properly. There we go. All right, so that's tomorrow's project. All right, so I've got this one installed. Um, that's the aeration that comes out of it. A lot more aeration for the buck somehow on these units. That's a lot of air coming out of there. Now, I've, I've made this filter screen uh, which I'm going to remove because I want all these sediments uh, to be removed and I don't want them caught in that screen I want them caught in this tray up here so I'm going to remove my little uh, filter screen 
and I'm going to put one in this tank also. And then I'm going to check the females to see if we've got any babies or any, any pregnant females and hopefully some babies at some point. All right, and I've got the second one set up here and it's filtering. So I'm gonna let these go for a couple hours before I do the, uh, before I do the check. Just in case I've got a female that I need to put into this tank, I'm gonna let this filter run. Might even let it run 24 hours, I don't know. Depends on how much it clears up. But uh, I need it to be much clearer than that. I am going to do a water exchange. I'm going to pump a bunch of this water out uh, of both of these tanks and put fresh water in it. All right, both tanks have had a water exchange. That one right there is obviously much cloudier than the other. Uh, we'll check back in an hour and see how things are going. And uh, we'll check for pregnant females. Well, as you guys can see, uh, it's been like three hours instead of the one that I said, but uh, you can see it's much uh, clearer now in the aquarium. I'm going to check the battery voltage. Look, it rained for a couple hours, so we didn't have good sun. And if I, if I drain the home bouncer, how you doing, buddy? This is where... He hid out from the dogs for the first couple days that he was here, and so he knows this. And he's waited here for Jen Jen and her kids to come back, but he patiently waited down there at their house. And I fed him yesterday and the day before, so he thinks this is the this is the place to be now. But he, you know, he never has gotten along perfectly well with the dogs. There's a couple of them, uh, Casper, which will chase him and Clo, uh, Cleo will chase him. So everyone else he's got, he's either, he either gets along with or he's got buffaloed, but uh, those two not. So he takes refuge on the well here. And he follows me around like he's a dog. Come on, buddy, let's go check out the crayfish. Well, Bouncer's a good cat. Oh, buddy. No, buddy. No, now you got this in your fur. You don't want that in your fur. I'm going to check the, the overall water level and see if I've got enough to do a water change. No, yeah, not really. If I drain that tank, no. I'll just wait until tomorrow. I, I don't want to run the pump. Come on, Bouncer. It, it's almost feeding time anyway for the other animals, and it takes a while. So, let me double check the voltage, make, sh make sure. I don't think I have enough reserve to justify running the pump because it was so cloudy today. If it's over 27, I'll, I can run the pump for a little while. Yeah, twenty seven point one. That's actually not too shabby. All right, we'll go ahead and do it then. All right, I've started draining the tank. And <laughs> old bouncer here, maybe he thinks he's gonna get some crayfish. What are you doing, buddy? You know, this cat, you know, Ming Ming was the first but Bouncer has always been the most affectionate. And he is really an affectionate cat and he just follows me around looking for scratching and petting. Might be looking for a crayfish right now, but he's a really cool cat. Huh. You know, one of our cats, Peepoy, or one of them, was out in the jungle across the street there one time and uh, I went out to call her because at that time the cats were chasing the dogs around and sometimes they'd be afraid to come in and so I heard uh, one of our cats out there crying and so I went out and called her in and then this guy 
come to find out it was Bouncer. It was in a, in a tree a couple feet off the ground and just pitiful looking. But I thought he was someone's cat. But he did talk to me because I was calling the other cat and he me out a little bit. And later that afternoon, uh, he showed up right outside my bedroom window. And made it through all the dogs. There were dogs 10 feet away from him. But he came up underneath my window and started meowing. And he was pitiful looking at that time. He had mange. Uh, he was skinny all around his ears. You can see the fur is still kind of, hasn't all the way come back in yet. But he was a pitiful little cat. And he was about half this size. And, of course, I I heard from it from Maricel. But I went out and I, I opened up a can of sardines and took them out and fed him a couple of them. And then he took up residence on the well there. Could he could easily jump up on the cover we have on the well and get away from the dogs. And so that was his routine. I came down, I don't know, for a week. He would, he would get up underneath there because there's, there's another roof right there. And then the other roof we built on it. And that's where he would sleep. And then he would hear me going around or walking down and he'd jump down on top of the well and start crying until I came and fed him. And Andre fell in love with this little cat too because he's an affectionate cat. And Andre had never had a cat before, so they took him down there. Uh, Jin Jin, uh, John and Andre, and he was their cat. But now, they haven't come back. And so, I guess he's my cat again. Come buddy. So I'm going to drain this out and then start catching him. I really need Marcel to help me. I can't film... Uh, and catch them at the same time, so hopefully she'll be here shortly. Was there something in there interesting you? Hmm? Ew. So I've got one pregnant female here. One thing I wanted to check this time that I didn't check last What's time. What is pulling the deal every time they? Like was that? to see if the sperm sac was still on it, and it's not. Um, it may have been the problem before. There's one off, rolling. So that's one pregnant female, and really that's the only room that we have. I've got one aquarium that's set up, so I'm not even going to look at the rest. Um, that's all, because I'm not going to put them in this jug anymore. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> the first one that I caught was pregnant. So that's the first one. That was the first There's one. another one there. Oh. And I don't even want to mess with the rest of them. Uh, just leave them. So I'm going to transfer this gal and call it good. And I don't know. It's not going to happen this week, but maybe next week I can. We can find another flat plastic container or something. Uh, put her in. Yeah, she's a half a dozen of eggs. Maybe a dozen eggs she kicked off. Yeah. Love, there's two, supposed to be there's two there, right? Did you get the other one? Uh, this one escaped. I guess it's gone. Escape or died? No, there was no body. What happens is that if the environment is not great, they'll try to leave. And they'll, they'll crawl up these, whatever is yeah. in here, they'll crawl up it. And I'm sure that when that one aerator got kicked loose, what? air goes out the path of least resistance, and so the air wasn't going into the other no. No. aerators. And so that aerator had no resistance, so the aerators that were in these two tanks... That's why they tried to escape. No oxygen, so they're trying to get out. How about the other one? She's still there. She's got about a dozen eggs left. I can't tell if they're hatching. There's no babies. I see no babies in there. Uh, I don't know. She's already uh, finding this. Hand me the net, love. <laughs> Why don't you ask this little boy to, hand, hey, to hunt? To <laughs> hand me that net, buddy. You know what? He's... he's <laughs> he <was> <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe he escaped from, and, and then he stayed there, here. I don't know. If you could trim those King Kong, and we'll just call this done. And I don't know. We, we're not set up to have more than two pregnant females at a time. Okay. Uh, it is what it is, so. I think what we'll do in a couple days. No, I'll check her. And if she has no more eggs, then I'll just put her back. And then we'll check again for more pregnant females. Because we'll have space for them. Okay. We'll just do it that way. Okay. What? We did? We did it? Goldfish? Goldfish? Yeah. <laughs> There's no goldfish. goldfish. There ain't no goldfish in there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you been drinking, Charlie? What happened, what happened is... is what happened that... to the goldfish? There's, yeah, no. there's no goldfish, buddy. Wow! What happened is... Goldfish? <laughs> Alright, so... I don't know, it was, a, it was an incomplete check. But uh, we found another pregnant female. We seemed to not have a problem Ouch. with him with him having eggs. My question is is whether or not they're really being fertilized. Wow. Uh, wow. I'm gonna get a hold of Witwit and have him come by and get his learned opinion. Wow. Uh, when he saw the setup before, he said everything looked good and looked fine. Um, but, well, one pregnant female escaped, one died, and the other one doesn't seem to be hatching any of her eggs, so, uh, we've obviously got some kind of a problem. I'll get a hold of Witwit. Should have done it today. Today's Sunday. This is his day off, but we just didn't. So, uh, I don't know. I'll chat him up in a couple days and see if he'll come by and look at what we got going on here. And go from there. What are you talking about? See, he said, "Wow, the crayfish is wow." I got it. I got it. <laughs> Do you like crayfish, Charlie? It's a goldfish or a crayfish, baby. Runny nose, boy. <laughs> All right, uh, stay tuned. I'll check again in a couple days if I can. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.